after coffee will form the bulk of the evidence to counter the NASA petition against the election of President Uhuru Kenyatta over rigging claims. Rita Tinina with that report. With a 48-hour deadline since Sunday for the IEBC to submit all election declaration forms, IEBC CEO Ezra Chiloba and IEBC lawyer Wambua Kilonzo led the team to the Supreme Court in Nairobi where the forms were submitted under tight security. 54,000 pages of documents, including Form 34As from 40,883 polling stations, 290 Form 34Bs from the 290 constituencies, and one Form 34C that was used to declare Uhuru Kenyatta the winner of the August 8th polls with 8.2 million votes against Raila Odinga's 6.7 million votes. Uh, we also have the same in soft... Uh copy. Uh, this is how many terabytes? One terabyte. One terabyte. It's heavy. All the forms have been scanned here and we're going to deliver one copy to the Supreme Court, one for ourselves, one for our stakeholders. The IEBC had two days from Sunday when it was served by the petitioners Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka to submit the documents. The evidence will form the basis of the case as the IEBC tries to counter NASA's rigging claims. We are getting ready for the petition. We, this is just the first um, dispatch as required by the rules governing the petition. And we expect that by Thursday this week we'll be filing our responses with regards to the, to the petition. The IEBC is the first respondent in the case. The IEBC chairman Wafula Chibukati is the second, while President Uhuru Kenyatta is the third respondent. NASA filed the presidential election petition on Friday night and served the respondents on Sunday. The IEBC, Chebukati and Uhuru will file their responses on Thursday. All parties are scheduled to serve and file their written submissions on Friday. Rita Tinina, KTN News. Well, Kenyans clearly learned how to pro pronounce a few words. Mike, 34, 34B. Well, it is pronounced 34. from 34A, 34B and 34C. <laughs> All right, now to Nigeria. Nigeria's president, Muhammadu Buhari, will spend three months working from home after his office was...